Hello and welcome to another post bag video. This is not an ordinary video, this is an LED special. So I did a poll on my channel a while ago to see if anyone was interested and the winning vote was yes, let's do an LED special, uh, followed by Ugh, do something else, but I'm going to do an LED special. Uh, I've got a lot of items from AliExpress and I've collated them into LED and light related. In fact, I've got a lot of items from AliExpress. So I'm going to have to split this video into two parts because I don't want you to sit there and watch me go through this in one sitting. So this is part one and it's going to be released today. And part two, if you're watching it as it comes out, will be released suspiciously close to the AliExpress 1111 sale, where you'll be able to get a lot of these items at a much reduced rate. Now there's one item in here. It's got two things in, very big item. I'm very excited about this. If you want to see that, you're going to have to hang on till part two, I'm afraid. Now the usual format, I will open the items, tell you what they are, what they're used for, what I'm going to use them for. And as they're LEDs, I'm going to maybe try and get a demo up and running because we all love blinky LEDs. And there will be a affiliate link in the description below for where you can get them on AliExpress. And hopefully in the AliExpress 1111 sale, you should get them at a much reduced price. So without further ado, so let's move everything out of the way. Try and make a bit of room. This is the big item. Save him to last. Let's try and get, oops, dropping it on the floor. There's so much to go through. Okie dokie. Now, can we see? Looks good. All right, so this, let's sit down on this one. Five meter RGB LED strip. It's double wrapped. That was good. So what have we got? Oh, RGB, it's like a, a reel. Yes, yeah, so this is some RGB LEDs on a strip. Looks like a five meter strip. Uh, 30 LEDs per meter. It's just your standard RGB uh, LED strip. Got your connector on one side. And to go with it, looks like a controller. instructions. Yeah, so this is the actual controller itself. Um, is there any buttons? Sometimes you have buttons. No, so this is a 12 volt uh, controller. It's got an IR and it's got a rather large uh, remote control, infrared remote control. Let's get this off. Usually they don't come with a battery, uh -huh, but it does. Okay, it's probably dead by now, to be fair. Uh, this is a controller. So we can hook this up, it hooks up to 12 volts. Have I got a 12 volt supply? 12 volt supply. Unravel some of this. Plug it in. Got a little arrow you see there on the connector. That's supposed to go to the arrow of the controller. It's this is tiny little controller. It's got a little micro processor inside and it does all the management of the IR and the effects and everything. It's very impressive. Plug it in. There we go. Check that out. See if this works. Yeah. Does work. Ah, G, B, orange, mm, pink, blue, white, back to red. So quick, slow, auto. There we go. So that's just going to go through various effects. See if I can't just turn these lights off. Hey. Got 
fade. So yeah, this controller basically has various settings, loads that you can do, jumps, excuse the banding, you don't see that, that's just my camera. And DIY, it's got lots of DIY functions. Not 100% sure what they do. There's an off and an on. Very, very good remote. And yeah, it's really cool for a little controller. Pressed, ooh. Unplug that. So that is what that is. And it comes with the instructions as well. Tells you what you can do. All the various DIY buttons and the phase and everything. Very cool. Let's keep moving on. These are uh, more. If you've seen my last video, these are there. Uh, more of these little NeoPixel sticks. So this is like an eight pixel stick. And uh, three more for some strange reason. I must have thought I didn't have any and I've ordered three more. But you can't have too many of these. These are cool. Um, yeah. <whistles> this is oddly wrapped. Bag of LEDs. A couple of different sizes in here. Ah yes, I know what these are. Put these to one side. So, three. These are LEDs, but you can see there's a lot of legs to them. And these are not just RGB LEDs, these are actually addressable LEDs. Uh, it's the APA106 chip. It's got RGB uh, diodes inside. Uh, and I think it's data in. VCC ground and data out. So it's essentially, it uses the NeoPixel or the WS2812 protocol. Uh, yeah, so instead of having it as a 50-50 chip or on a strip or anything, it's actually embedded in a little LED. So this is an eight millimeter package and this is a five. So if you want actual LEDs, you can actually get addressable in these packages as well. There's just a lot of pins to deal with. Um, let's see if I can get it up and running. Okay, so we have a little test rig. I'm going to set this up. Got five volts. Have I got five volts? Yes. Um, so you can see we've got it set up. Got a little microcontroller uh, and it's got a data pin. So this was data pin on the start. Start it up. Let's turn these lights off again. So that's your shot going through a standard like NeoPixel library, RGB white, and then a little rainbow. Now turn these back on. If I get my other little guy. So it was data in will go on to data out. If I power that up. So that's proof that they are addressable. The R, G, B, and it goes into rainbow. So that is some different format style NeoPixels, if you want to call them that. Ah, <laughs> LEDs. Yes, check these out. Okay, let's just package in. So these are L RGB LEDs. Well, you got red, green, blue, yellow, clear LEDs. Now, are your eyes deceiving you? No. Get one up and these are 10 millimeter LEDs. Look at the size of them. I just grabbed that five one. So that's the five millimeter previous one. The size of that is huge. That's what she said. It's almost like it's fake. How cool is that? 
Um, let's try and get this up and running, shall we? So there's the red, it's got a little coin cell here, so that's three volts, so it shouldn't burn it out. There we go, yeah, look at that. Let's turn these off again. There you go, no more banding because it's not PWM'd or anything. So that's the red. Let's try them all, shall we? Green. I like that one. Let's do it in order, eh? Blue. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. Gives off a very good diffused glow. And yellow. That's more like an amber, really, or like an orange up close. Very nice. And they also got white. I just put all these away. Excuse the darkness. Hello, Hello darkness, my old friend. So these are clear white, so they should be quite bright. Yeah, look at them. Blind you. It's quite a good, quite a good little LED. So there we go. So if you ever want to use over daft sized LEDs, you can see the anvil there. Look at that. Cool is that. If you ever want to use oversized daft LEDs on videos or anything, or any projects, these would be cool for like robots and kits and things. Massive 10 mil LEDs. I know Dave Darko like these big old LEDs. These are green, 0402 green SMD LEDs. Yeah, so these are SMD LEDs on a real strip. And the size is 0402. So you can see, these are my grubby thumb and fingernails. See how absolutely tiny they are. I'll try and get an even closer shot with like a macro. But they are tiny. So for these, I got the SMD challenge board. I actually ordered the board itself and I thought I would task myself to finding all the LEDs and the resistors. If you don't know what that is, um, it's a SMD solder challenge badge. It's got various different sized LEDs and resistors to see if you can hand solder them. Going from 1206, 805, 402 and there's 0201 which are absolutely tiny now with any luck what are you doing with that with any luck the 0201 should be in this pile somewhere in fact yeah uh -huh. this, this will make sense in a minute so yeah these are from the same supplier now I wanted some 0201 LEDs, couldn't find them anywhere cheap and quick and easy until I found one, uh, a UK seller. So I ordered some 0201 LEDs, very well wrapped. And what they sent me was... Da -da 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 -da. Yep. And those in the know will know that these are not LEDs. These are SMD uh, fuses, I believe. Hey, yep. So yeah, a whole bunch of uh, SMD fuses. So I contacted them, I was like, hello, those are not LEDs. So they then promptly sent me this package. Oh, very well wrapped. Definitely different to your Chinese sellers all the stuff and in here a tiny 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 wow okay i'm gonna have to get the macro lens on this let's put on my thumb so you can get a good sense of scale so these are 0201 leds I forget what colour they are. 
when you're supposed to hand solder those with a soldering iron. Oh, that's a challenge, anyhow. Tiny, absolutely tiny. I don't have much luck in that, I don't think, but we will see. We'll definitely have to video it anyhow. So we've got some kind of USB controller and a strip. Okay, so I think this is another RGB strip. Yeah, this is like a controller. Yeah, similar to the one before, but this time it's got a USB on the end. So that means it's five volts. So if we undo this. Five volt, little controller, it's just push button. Controller's in there somewhere. You got little, little tiny uh, SMD buttons under this, under this sticker. It says five to 12 volts, so it's got a little regulator. But the idea is this is plugged into a USB socket or a computer. And it comes with this. this should be an LED strip. It's only small. Yeah, there we go. So this is focus RGB LED strip. This is 30 LEDs per meter. So it's not as big as the other one. But if we, let's try this power bank. Plug that in. So again, on these little connectors, you've got to little arrow which goes yeah I'm guessing to the plus LED there here we go Ta -da. let's turn these off I think I'll leave just that one on so it's just cycling through so if we push because that's on and off that brightness mode Speed. Let's try that again. Get red. Mood once. Guessing it won't work the other way. No. Anything? Speed. I wonder if I'm getting enough juice. Let me just replace this with a plug. Let's take this 12 out. This is just a plugged in a USB socket. Plug this in, plus to plus. That seems to be doing more on the camera. It seems to do stuff when I unplug it. Keep changing. Well, that is pretty garbage. Doesn't seem to be working. Don't know. Unplug that. Hmm. Maybe put that to one side. Who knows? But anyhow, let's move on. These are little LED lights. Battery operated Christmas lights. I think they're called fairy lights. Um, yeah, just run off some coin cells. Got a couple here. These are really simple little lights. They go in vases or twigs or whatever you like, really. Positive, negative. They don't last for a huge amount of time. But there we go. Ooh, so that's. Maybe you can see that on camera, that's white, white light. Mm. There we go. And I think the other one should be warm white. Come on. <coughs> Let's open this one, why not? Fire this one up. Positive, negative, Oops, switches on. There we go. So yeah, you can see it's a little bit warmer compared to the other one. So yeah, these are dirt cheap. They go inside little vases or 
mason jars or you put them around twigs and it's just little decorations around Christmas time and holidays. They last a good few hours. You can get RGB ones as well. Yeah, I think I've already got those open somewhere. But yeah, there we go, simple. <laughs> 